My name is Ed Helms and I am an actor. When you first start out in show business, it's so daunting, it's so terrifying, it, it, it just seems impossible to be, to go from where you are to where you want to get. When DJ first started to help me out, uh, it wasn't a formal arrangement of any kind, it wasn't, uh, it didn't come from my asking him to be my mentor or him saying, hey, do you want to be my mentee? It, uh, it really was kind of an organic thing. Hey everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley, and when I think about mentors, I am always reminded of one of my teachers back from middle school. Her name is Miss Borton, and she was life-changing for me. Uh, sh her out outlook on life, the way she approached challenges, and uh, the, the spirit that she brought to the classroom was something that I guess I had never encountered before. Hi, I'm Mary Elizabeth Winstead. I'd say my mentor would have to be my mother um, because she's the one who really pushed me to be driven and ambitious and to succeed in life. Um, and I think silently in some way really taught me to command a level of respect and to, to not really um, take less than what I'm worth. Hi, this is Christian Kane. One mentor that's been in my life, um, I, I've, I've, I've met him uh, twice, he's, he's, he's been so kind to me every time, but he really did it from an outside uh, stance, it was Garth Brooks. Hi, I'm Melora Harden. I feel like I've had a lot of mentors in my life. Uh, most specifically, I would say my dance teachers. Just They all kind of shaped the person that I am, the dancer that I am, the artist that I am in ways that are really profound, I think. Hi, I'm Michaela Conlin. I have been fortunate enough to have a few really wonderful people mentoring me, I guess, in my life. Um, I studied theater at NYU, and a teacher of mine there was just wonderful and uh, was really tough. And I use what she says pretty much every day on set, so. The man who was the director of my acting school, uh, Duncan Ross, who said to me in the final weeks of my education, uh, my training as an actor, he said to me, Patrick, you will never achieve success by ensuring against failure. And I thought I understood. But I would say it took me 20 years to really understand what he was trying to tell me, which was, you've got to take risks, you've got to be fearless. 